Let's talk for just a minute about the horse's digestive system and, and how it differs. So sometimes people forget, but the digestive system really starts with the horse's mouth. Um, it's incredibly important for the horse's mouth to be examined by an equine dental professional um, at least annually. Um, a horse's teeth are um, what we call a hypsodont tooth, so it grows continuously. So they're always growing and wearing their teeth, which means that they are growing and wearing them unevenly. They can easily develop points, ramps, hooks, all of those things that can cause sores and ulcers in their mouth and stop their ability to begin that initial breakdown process of their forage, um, as well as their grain. So it's really important to have a horse's teeth examined annually. Um, next, you move into the esophagus and stomach. What sometimes people don't realize is horses actually can't regurgitate food. They can't vomit. So if a horse eats something toxic or poisonous or bad, there's, there's no way to get that back out of their system. Um, that's why colic is a really uh, prominent condition in horses. Uh, the stomach is very small in size, two to four gallons. So the food doesn't stay there very long. Um, once it moves out of the stomach, it moves into the small intestine. And that's where most of your vitamins, minerals, and protein is going to be absorbed. The food moves through there relatively quickly. Uh, so it's important for the horse to absorb as many nutrients as they can in the small intestine. From the small intestine, it then goes into the cecum, which is basically the horse's uh, fermentation vat. That's where most of the fiber is broken down and turned into energy for the horse. To learn more, log on to bluebonnetfeeds.com.